All right, back at it. I uh, woke up at six on the dot. There's a clock tower within earshot. You'll probably hear it in a second, actually. Um, yeah, so trying to again record every morning just for the first couple of weeks, I think, and then probably drop the cadence off. Uh, last night, I think I sort of solidified an idea for like what the sort of format is this going to be. I'm going to try to, over time, trying to like whittle it down to five minutes, I think, per unit. And uh, the idea being, I'm going to talk about stuff that I know about and have like pretty mature opinions about, well, mature to the extent that, you know, it's stuff that I've sort of mulled over and thought about a lot versus, uh, you know, stuff when I'm talking at the very edge of uh, my own understanding, I have a tendency to get verbose, and so the idea would be to actually speak in plain language, um, and so relegate it to, yeah, basically ideas which I would consider mature, and again, mature is meaning I know a lot about them. Um... So, I, um, been working on a newsletter to get out uh, on that uh, specificity gradient thing that I was talking about a few days ago. And, um, yeah, so I was, like, within, you know, a few paragraphs of finishing it on Friday. And, of course, I didn't, like, get it out the door in time and that necessitated that I couldn't do it yesterday or couldn't do it yesterday or Sunday or Saturday um, as a result of that. And it reminded me of a little mantra that was kind of like, if you can't get it done in a day, you can't get it done in two days. And if you can't get it done in two days, you can't get it done in a week. And if you can't get it done in a week, you won't get it done in two weeks. If you can't get it done in two weeks, you won't get it done in a month. And if you can't get it done in a month, you won't get it done in a quarter and so on and so forth. And, you know, it's kind of interesting how the sort of the difference between the sort of discrete task and like what done is versus you know more fluid things where like it's never going to be done and like done is not a meaningful concept in this case done and for a newsletter absolutely is a meaningful concept uh and so i'll be finishing it today i mean it really is like we're down to like a couple of paragraphs so just sort of out and make it coherent maybe draw a diagram I don't know. Um, kind of wish I had a scanner, but not in this like temporary ass residence. Um, you can tell by the drapes and the chair <laughs> and the lack of art on the walls and books and all that kind of stuff. Uh, well, I'm kind of growing an impressive pile, but I digress. Um, yeah, like I think one of the remarks I've made in the past is kind of like how. Um, it's interesting how if you look at, and I mean, this is an Alan Kayism that like you know, he's sort of an advocate of saying that uh, uh, computer science is not really about computers. It's about the study of processes and how there are ideas, sort of generalized ideas for understanding processes. And when you look at things like management, for example, like management can learn a whole crap load from computer science. And it's very interesting that software development management does not, I mean, it's gotten a little better, but in general, it doesn't actually like apply uh, knowledge about itself uh, to its own processes in, in, in the case of computer science. And you, I'm talking about stuff like you know, um, like algorithmic complex, like big O notation on, uh, you know, a measuring, measuring, say like a business process where the sort of units of computation are actually people, um, which they were once upon a time. I mean, computer used to be a job title, it used to be generally held by women. Um, but like, um, you know, take, for example, preemptive multitasking. This is the thing that got me thinking about this this morning was, 
um, you know, in a case of in a, a, a multitasking kernel, we'll have a bunch of jobs in a scheduler. And then the scheduler, I mean, I don't like know exactly how it works, and it's not really important. Um, but the scheduler kind of cycles through the tasks and according to some algorithm or other, and then like gives you know a, a lot uh, computing time to whatever, and then like freezes it its state, pulls out of that, and then punches into another one. And just continues this until all the tasks are done, and um, you know, so there's like something in there I think that you could apply potentially to management, um, and just other things too. Like, uh, I mean, I was saying big O notation. Like, if you think about procedures where you don't have information, like you you're missing information about the future. Like one of the things that. Uh, um, you know, when I was thinking about uh, going back to sort of Alexander and notes on this, this is a form about uh, the program decomposition. So in the case of that, they're talking about an architectural program and by program, they typically mean the, the project, you know, what do we do in what order? And um, for path dependent processes, well, first of all, you start out with the decomposition itself, the topology of the decomposition itself. Um, you know, you've got a set of, of concerns and then the idea is you split the set of concerns into subsets and you split the subsets into subsets until you got something tractable. And it turns out that there's like a huge number of potential partitions that you could, that could cut the set. And so it actually matters because if you cut it on the wrong lines, you get garbage uh, and you're going to have to go and back and redo it. Uh, and that's going to cost you real time and real real re resources. Uh, and then assuming, so there's two to the N for that. So there's your huge number, number one. And then if that process is path dependent, meaning you have to do it in a certain order and you don't know what order it is, the, and in real life, it's, you're not talking about, you know, um, you're not talking about a, a huge number of these things because most of the stuff is going to be not, it's not going to interact with each other. Um, but if you're path dependent, um, again, meaning it needs to be done in a certain order and you don't know what order that is, the, the probability that you're going to just guess the right one out of a hat is n factorial of the subsets, which is, you know, one times two times three times four times five is 120 kind of thing. So there's a lot, there's a lot there. And then there's going to be a sort of um, a quadratic or triangular, actually, a sort of Pascal's triangle number um, of effectively penalty uh, costs to getting it in the wrong order. So if you've got five steps and you do it wrong, you will have something like, I can't remember if it's 15 or 21 or whatever, um, you know, um, number uh, of, of potential steps like that you will have to redo. Um, so like just like understanding that kind of stuff, which is like basic, you know, theoretical computer science and combinatorics, I think would be just a huge step forward in, in management where, on uh, management under uncertainty, let's just call it. Um, and then from there, you know, from, from just going from like budgets and deadlines where you have no idea, you know, and everybody's just pulling numbers out of their ass to, um, you know, a sort of a principled understanding of like what the situation is and having like sort of realistic expectations around stuff. And then instead of framing it like in terms of cost, you frame it in terms of value. You say, well... You know, is it, you know, how much, how much resource, you know, quantity is it worth to do this thing? You know, and then what is the probability of doing it, uh, you know, within these, this envelope of resources and so on, and then like discount that. And then you've got kind of more, um, you know, more of a model, I think, for going forward under, under uncertainty. And I mean, that's just something we're going to have to learn how to, to do. Because, you know, we're getting less uncertain about stuff as time's going forward. So, anyway. 
I'm gonna finish my coffee.